Hi folks, I just wanted to introduce you to some H5P learning activities that I've created for learners. This is so that you can consider whether you might want to make similar such learning material for your learners in whatever context that may be. Here's an example of, it's similar to a PowerPoint presentation, but it's done through the software H5P. You work your way through it. You can put little information things to offer the learners more information they can click on these little icons here see these dots along the bottom mean that you've put some interactive material in their questions where they actually have to do something so here they have a drag and drop and they can check their answers oh goody I got it right and they can you can choose whether you want your learners to be able to see the solution or to retry or not and there are other types of questions as well along the way more interactive content that's one example at the end of a learning module for your online learning you might want to put together something like a crossword perhaps and here you can see if they put their um, oops, put their answer in it'll come up on the box there and that's quite good fun they can again they can check their solutions as well see how they go with that activity I've shown you this one here's a hotspot image so this could be any image in this case it's an image of a teaching plan that I put together and I can just hotspot in and offer people a bit more information about certain parts of that image and finally just your standard MCQ kind of question here you can also get reports. This is something the learners do not see, only the teacher sees it. And that will give you some analytics on how your learners are interacting with the material that you've created, how many attempts they make, um, whether they need to see the solutions, what percentage of the questions they got right, that kind of thing. And you can get it to link straight into your gradebook so that the assessment um, all happens automatically without you having to do anything. Uh, there's also films that you can put together drag and drop activities and uh, yeah get amongst it and here you can see a small interactive film that I've made so the learners will just watch it come through and then things pop up on the screen so you can see here the learners can get some more information about a particular moment in the film draw their attention to it another thing is you could introduce different questions that they need to work through as they're watching the film so this is a great way to get their interactivity up during watching a film and again here they have different questions and you can even offer them more information alongside those questions before they make their decision <laughs> and then they can continue watching the film. Okay, that's all from me. Have fun.